What's happening, fam? Um, LAR movement still moving. Subscriber die trying. You see the thumbnail. Why are black men so informal? As I'm sitting in here in a hoodie, some jogging pants, uh, a t-shirt. It's a nice t-shirt from a workout shirt and a fitted cap. Um, <laughs> I actually got up and worked out this morning. So this is actually part of my workout outfit. You know, the gray sweatpants. I'm, I'm not single, ladies. I'm taking. You can't see all of that. Anyway, uh, here's the thing. Personally, I think we're informal because some of us haven't grown up. And we like the comfort of active wear and casual wear. So we'll wear any old wear and we're trying to make that the norm. Like America's like that. America's more casual and active where than, than, you know, it ain't just us, but that's the, the norm. The issue becomes, I think one of the other reasons is we got kicked out of so many places, fitting the dress code. You know, we just started saying, forget it. I'm going to wear whatever I feel like wearing. I'm not going to get dressed up to go places and then be kicked out. You know, huh. we don't do, we don't do sneakers. I don't have sneakers. We don't do loafers. I don't have loafers. We don't do dress shoes. Do these dress shoes, but there's a dress code to get in. Okay. So I don't fit the dress code, though. I fit the dress code. Like RDC world, you say you black, you black. You just can't get it because you black. So got kicked out of so many places, you know, because we black. You're like, man, look, man. Like I'm gonna go chill out. I'm not gonna get get dressed up to get kicked out before I even get in. <laughs> Why y'all let everybody of every other race in? You know, no shorts, no no sneakers, no t-shirts, no hats. You can't get in, bro. And it's a white dude coming in with some cargo shorts on, some damn Skechers, <laughs> or some Crocs, bro. <laughs> you know, a Bass Pro Shop hat and a t-shirt. He just walk in, hum, -dum 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 -dum. I'm white. Rules on a part of me, buddy. And it's like, oh, man, y'all full of it. So now, it's that. Um, sometimes we informal because... You know, we're relaxed all the time. Some of us ain't got nowhere to go. You know, <laughs> you know, you ain't got no date. You know, you ain't got nowhere to go. You ain't got nothing to do. So you lounging. You know, you're not going to wear pajamas all the time, but you're going to wear relaxed clothes, relaxed shorts, you know, ankle socks, you know, sneakers, just because it, it, it feels very relaxed. And you're not going nowhere important. You might go to the mall, you know, which is weird. Like, and I'm going to tell you why it's weird in a second. You might go to the mall. You might go to the movies. You might go to a sports bar or a lounge. You know, you're not really going to events that require you to dress up. You're not going to, um, say, concerts and operas and comedy shows. Comedy shows, it depends on the show, though. It depends on the environment. You're not going to, like, Valentine's Day events where it's dressed up. You know, you're not going to restaurants where, you know, you're supposed to dress up for uh, black tie events or um, all white events, unless it's a Frankie Beverly and Mays concert, you know you better dress up for that. Now, you know, and church has gotten informal. That's another reason. We don't even go to church like that, but church has gotten informal. So, you know, come as you are, went everywhere now. E everywhere has come as you are. So, brothers are, are just informal. Now, what I was about to say with the um, with fashion, if you notice, even when you're talking about people who have quote unquote high fashion, um, a lot of that's a lot of guys are wearing informal wear. It's, they're not like wearing suits. As close as you're gonna get is a sweater, you know. But they're gonna be hoodies, um, t-shirts, uh, maybe a polo shirt, you know. But the jeans are going to be informal jeans. They're not going to be like designer to the point that you can wear them anywhere. You know, the shoes are not going to be like uh, dress shoes. They're going to be an expensive sneaker. You know what I'm saying? So it's informal wear. It's basically showing you I got enough money to, 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 to throw away, to, to, to throw away by buying something and wearing something that you're supposed to wear to the gym. 
And another reason, and another thing. A lot of times, brothers wear informal wear because you want to act like we in shape, even when we not. You know, let me look like I'm doing something like I'm a hoop. You know what I'm saying? Let me put that, uh, that, uh, that uh, uh, step back. Uh, hit, the, hit the top of the back of the backboard. <laughs> you know, I don't know how your layup missed the whole backboard. And, you know, it didn't touch the rim, Jack. It didn't go all net. It just meant you just you finger rolled that thing all the way out of bounds over the backboard. But it's to look like you could do something, you know. So why are we so informal? It's because of those things. And then it's not required of us. We can still holler, talk to who we want to talk to, however we want, you know. And when you're young, you know, look at society, like, there's only certain jobs that require you to be formal. You know, you got lawyers that are formal, you know, or people in law that are formal, or people in the military, they gotta be suited and booted. You know, people in, in, uh, in policing and stuff like that. And even with the uniform jobs, you see cats getting there and they just, they gotta throw some sauce on it. You know, you know I'm not gonna wear the uniform the way they told me I'm a, you know, I, I gotta, excuse me, be the first Prince of Bel-Air and turn it inside out. And, you know, and a lot of people just, you know, they, they finally grown and they and they can dress the way they want to dress, so they're going to do stupid stuff. And it's all for attention and to stand out and not to to be an individual and, and not be looked at as part of the, uh, the group. So it's ridiculous. It happens. I do it. I can point it out. It's hypocrisy. Sometimes it's just laziness. And some, before I go in, some of y'all, some of us don't know how to dress for real, so we stay in active wear. You don't know how to actually have a grown outfit put together. So you hide behind, you know, not, you know, just wearing this type of stuff everywhere you go because you don't know how to wear a suit. Or you, some of y'all know how to tie a tie or bow tie. You know, you don't know how to put it, put a square in. You don't know those things. So you, so you stay away from them, you know, but you don't know the different fits of dress clothes, but there's a whole nother story, but it ain't, but I'm done with this one. Catch y'all on the next one. Like, share, subscribe, or die, try and peace.